How to block ads on Mac Greetings on IT Reviews, a channel with best software reviews and tips for PC users. My name is Martin and for this video I found three of the most effective ways of blocking ads on Mac in browsers like Safari, Chrome and Firefox. Also I have prepared for you two methods of blocking ads in all applications installed on your Mac. First of all, I have to show you how I test the efficiency of ad blocking methods. The first test is a website about cars with simple banners on main page. For the second test, I will use a block style gossip website full of banners, pop-ups and video ads. The third test will be with third party tools which mirror the effectiveness of ad blocking. The last test, measuring ad blocking on a popular video hosting. The results of these tests will be included in this summary table and we'll explore it so stay tuned. Part 1. Using browser tools to block ads for Mac. The most popular ad blocking method is browser extensions which in some cases could be 100% effective. I chose three of the most popular ones, Ghostry, AdGuard and AdBlock. The first two are cross browser extensions so they are available for Safari, Chrome and Firefox. At the same time, uBlock is unavailable for Safari but it is still great and users may have any browsers so why not review it? uBlock is an open source project that has a lot of advanced content blocking options. To install it in Chrome, go to Chrome Web Store and type uBlock into this search box. Go to the extensions page and click Add to Chrome. Grant the required permission and wait when the installation will be complete. The appearance of the uBlock icon in the extensions panel means that it is already in use. So let's open the first test page. As you can see, the banners have been cut out of the site's structure and you can read it as if they were never there. Now let's move on to the second test site. Banners including annoying video ads in the corner are blocked. The next test will provide a measure of blocking efficiency. Wait a bit and here it is. 100 out of 100, the ideal result for the ad blocker. uBlock also performed well in the fourth test, blocking ads on a well-known video hosting. Ghost3 has a paid version, where special features are available to protect uh, your privacy on the internet. But for effective ad blocking, its free version is enough. Let's test it in the Firefox browser. 1. Open it and go to add-ons and themes. 2. Type Ghost3 in the search bar and press enter. 3. Then everything is as usual. Go to the extension page, click add it to Firefox and give access to browser data. After the end of installation, Ghost3 will open a special page where you need to enable it and accept the terms of use. Now let's move on to testing it. So the first website is clean, no banners, no pop-ups. The second website is the same. All test advertising patterns were blocked. Advertising on video hosting also was not a problem. AdGuard. Well, the third extension for blocking ads in browsers on Mac is AdGuard. I can't ignore the Safari browser in the Mac software review, so let's test the AdGuard extension for Safari. First, let's open the asset store, find AdGuard here and download it. Once installed, it will ask for additional permissions. For minimum efficiency, you must enable the general AdGuard component, although I recommend using them all. As you can see, a large number of options are available here, including filters, lists, management. Please note that if you want to close the AdGuard window, you must allow it to work in the background. Now let's check how effective it is. Both sites are available without banners and other clutter, so this test passed successfully. In the next test, AdGuard showed 76 point efficiency, but AdGuard is good at blocking ads on video hosting sites. So uBlock and Ghostry showed 100% effectiveness in blocking ads for browsers on the Mac platform. AdGuard received a not ideal score at one of the test pages but blocked all visible ads on the test websites. If you want to know how to get 100% AdGuard effectiveness, then check out our AdGuard for Safari review link in the description. Part 2. Using software to block ads on Mac. Ad blocker extensions in web browsers allow you to block almost all annoying ads on the internet, yet the disadvantage is that they work only within a specific browser. As an alternative, I found two solutions to block ads on the Mac system. So 
Adgar desktop app, the first way is to install a desktop application by the already known Adgar. To get it, go to adgar.com from any browser. The website will automatically recognize your system, so you only need to click on download to get the Adguard installer. Run it and click install. You will have to wait a bit here uh, since this is an online installer and it will start installation only after downloading additional files. Let's check it. I will open the test pages for you in Safari. As you can see, they are completely ad free, as if there were to use the browser extension. Uh, now let's check if the desktop version of Edgar affects other browsers. I launched the same web page in Google Chrome, clean. Now open it in Firefox, also clean. Compared to the browser extension, the desktop version of Edgar has a number of additional features such as DNS protection, anti-tracking, and more. The only disadvantage of this is that Edgar for Mac can be used for free for only 14 days, then you will need to pay a subscription cost of $30 per year on three devices. Uh, you can find out why it's worth the money in our AdGuard for Mac review available by the link in the description. Winscribe VPN for desktop. Another way to block ads is to use a VPN with a built-in ad block like uh, Winscribe. Go to winscribe.com and download the version for Mac. Installation does not require special permissions, so just click install and wait a bit. If you have never used Winscribe before, you will need to sign up to get 10 GB of free data per month. The full featured version will cost $70 per month, but in the tariffs constructor you can get an unlimited subscription for $2 per month. Check out our Winscribe review if you are having trouble setting it up. So after authorization in your profile, go to the menu and open the robot tab. Enable the switcher to activate automatic ad blocking. Now let's check its effectiveness. I opened the ad blocker test in Safari and got 76 points, which is pretty good. Let's repeat the same action in Firefox, OK, and in Chrome. As you can see, all browsers have the same ad blocking performance, so WinScribe works as expected. It also successfully blocks ads on some video hosting sites and increases your privacy as, first of all, it's a VPN software. Conclusion. OK, these were five of the most effective ways to block ads on Mac. As you can see, browser extensions have the best performance, but don't block ads in other applications. At the same time, almost all of them are free and have versions for the most popular browsers such as Safari, Chrome and Firefox. If you want to block ads on the entire Mac in one click, then it is better to use applications with integrated ad blocking like AdGuard or Winscribe for desktop. Although in this case, be ready to pay a subscription for unlimited use of such programs. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Like and comment to let more people see this video. Bye.